Indigenous-led conservation today in a Canadian context is, um, I think, transforming before our eyes. Uh, Indigenous peoples uh, across Canada are taking more of a leadership role and um, the sort of community of civil society organizations in academia are really uh, rallying around that transformation. There is a resurgence in terms of Indigenous conservation in the country. I think in some ways we might say that that's a reflection of the policy pathway that's been established and enabled by federal, territorial and provincial governments, including things like capacity support for Indigenous nations, um, recognition of Indigenous forms of conservation governance as being rele relevant to um, government's uh, policy priorities. Uh, namely um, recognition of IPCAs. Um, so I think that uh, we're in a good place uh, in terms of, again, the, the enabling measures that are important to achieve Indigenous conservation. Some of our nations have declared our tribal parks or protected areas or however you want to term it, even though governments don't un don't recognize them that is one of the really important pieces of reconciliation of our selves to our land and waters and that's a part of that's a part of reconciliation that government governments um, western governments also need to be able to realize because our land is a part of what provides for us and our land is a part of our strength and our honor and that's where our language comes from. Indigenous-led conservation has taken major leaps forward in the last uh, five years, last four years actually. Uh, you know, we are an afterthought four years ago. Now uh, in Canada, you can't create a protected area without the consent of Indigenous people. Indigenous peoples and governments are leading some of the largest uh, protected areas in the country right now. Still, uh, the, uh, the colonial attitudes that's ingrained in Canadians and much of the Western world, I guess, suppose, and is still alive. It still exists, and it's still it's still a barrier here in Canada, and it's still used as a as a tip of an arrow in other parts of the world. In Canada, I still think that we're at that beginning stages, at least institutionally, of uh, of conservation agencies and organizations figuring out what their role is in this movement towards Indigenous-led conservation and the establishment of Indigenous protected and conserved areas. So I think we're still very much in the learning phase. Um, and it may be a catching up phase in many ways to the Indigenous nations who have already really thought through <laughs> what they're trying to accomplish in their territories um, and the ways that, uh, in teaching us the ways in which we may support that. Um, and so I think that there's still a, a fair bit of work to do, which is certainly part of our role here at the CRP is to help support that learning and to try to um, help you know, increase that capacity within the conservation sector to, to be better partners in the establishment of IPCAs. I think we need to continue to provide the space and opportunity and encouragement and empowerment of First Nation communities to do it even more broadly across Canada, um, not in, not just within the few IPCAs or few communities that were lucky enough to get resources to create IPCAs. There's so many more communities out there that have the desire to, to be leaders in their area when it comes to conservation.